Hi, kids. Where are we at? Sam, Sophia, Sammy is here. Sophia and girls, good morning. Good morning. How are we doing back there, everyone? Okay. I have a favorite chapter of the Bible. I don't have a favorite chapter of the Bible. Do you have a favorite chapter of the Bible, Sophia? Then no, I'm going to put you on the spot. You're good. No, that's right. Okay, no, no. You don't need a favorite chapter of the Bible. That's not a thing. You know, we can do verses, right? What's your favorite? Does anyone know it? Uh, do they have a favorite verse of the Bible they can just uh, share with us? First John 1 9. First John 1 9. Uh, beloved, let us love one another. I'm sorry. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what you get. Yes. Thank you. Okay, just two for it. Yes. Thank you very much. And then there's, of course, John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave, he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him shall perish but have everlasting life. Well, those are some of the ones that we remember off the top of our head. I have a favorite chapter of the Bible. It's Luke 15. In that chapter, Jesus tells three stories. Those three stories are the parable of the lost coin, the parable of the lost sheep, and the parable of the prodigal son. You know what the, the parable of the lost coin is about? So if you got to give a, a guess. A coin, that's right. You're exactly right. It was a coin. And uh, no, but what happens in this in this story is that a woman loses this coin and she upturns her whole house, her whole life in order to find it. And then there's the parable of the lost sheep. Does anyone know what that one's about? The parable of the lost sheep is a shepherd who has 100 sheep and one is lost. And a shepherd at that time couldn't really afford to lose sheep, but, uh, but he couldn't afford to leave back all of the others as well. But this shepherd went and looked for that lost sheep. Even though it didn't make sense, even though he probably should have stayed with the, 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 the others, the bigger group, he went and looked for the one. And then there's the parable of the prodigal son. This one's my favorite. There is a son, and he sort of rebels against his father and asks for a loan, and he goes off, and life doesn't treat him very well. Well, I don't know if you've ever, anyone ever gotten in trouble by their parents? <laughs> no, ever, absolutely not. No, I wouldn't expect that. The answer to that, if you get in trouble of your parents, you know, it, it can be rough, you know, that's, that's never happy when that happens. And, and this son was very worried because he had really rebelled against his father. You know what? There are some times when we feel that, you know, we've done something so terrible, so bad, that there's nothing that we can do to make it better, and there's no way anyone could forgive us. But you know the point of that story? And it's so funny, I, I showed him a short sleeve. My, I, my tattoo right here on my arm is a, a full portrait of the parable of the prodigal son. You know what that father does to that son? Son forgives. That the father forgives that son. And that chapter is all stories about how God searches for us when we are lost. When we are lost, God finds a way to find. You know, and as I, that, that, that's something that as I've grown to be an, an adult, that's meant more to me. But you know what? I, I actually wish that that's something that I had from childhood. So, kids, I want you to do something for me. There is a memory verse that Mr. Mike has been going over with us for the year. That is fantastic. I want you to go home and read Luke chapter 15 with your parents. Get, so, get someone to do that with you. It's a fantastic chapter. And figure out, you know, maybe... Ask yourself, where do I see myself in that story? You know, can I imagine myself as, as the lost coin or the, the lost sheep or the prodigal son? And how would I feel if I was so loved, if I was so intensely loved that God sought me out no matter what? And I hope you take that with you as you go today. Let's pray. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we come before you giving you thanks that as our heavenly parents, that you always search for, search for us. Even when we fight against you sometimes, that you don't mind, remind us 